Hi, I'm Bob Allen, here representing Milton Industries on the brake releaser. I'm the proud inventor of the brake releaser, the turbo de-icing system for freeing up frozen brakes on a tractor trailer. But what I want to talk about first is my inspiration on coming up with the invention. I was coming out of Indianapolis and uh, I was in whiteout conditions and my trailer froze as I was driving it. I jackknife almost killing a state trooper. So let me show you the traditional way of freeing up frozen brakes. This is how they used to do it. Take the alcohol, you take the emergency line off, and you try to pour the icing fluid into the system through that little hole, but you gotta keep this hose in an upright position to try to get as much the icing fluid into the hose. The problem with that is when you hold it in this position, all the alcohol runs down your arm and on the ground. So then once you feel that you got enough in it, you reattach the emergency line. That's how it's usually done the traditional way. Okay, so this is gonna be the process of freeing up frozen brakes when you can't get air past the valve. So you climb underneath the trailer, not forgetting your torch and your hammer because you're gonna need it. <coughs> you light the torch. And you heat up this valve that's underneath the torch right before the tank and the valve that's behind the tank to make sure that the ice crystals have melted. But after you do that, there's these slack adjusters on the air chamber. You tap those, there's one on each wheel, and then you hit the brake shoe to see if the brake shoe has released itself from the drum. Now if that hasn't happened, you have a couple of options. One, you can call the service guy, which nobody wants to call. He's 125 an hour, minimum two hours, it's 250 bucks. And the valve, once he gets here, if, you, if you've melted it, you gotta replace it, that's $350. So with that being said, you're out five, 600 bucks for the day. Now the other options that you have once you're under here, if you've got it released, you can try to pull the trailer as hard as you can but you may blow out a rear end, that's $4,500. I know I paid for them twice. And once you pull the trailer, you may create flat spots on your tires, which is $2,000 for a set of tires. There's two versions. There's a 45 version and a straight version. The straight version is for uh, trailers, dump trucks, chassis, and the 45 version is for dry vans and reefers. That's why there's two different versions. Now let me show you how it attaches. You take the emergency line off the trailer. You attach the brake releaser. Putting it in that level position, you reattach the emergency line. Take off the cap and you put in six to eight ounces of the icing fluid. Then you open this valve, you put it in, you put the cap back on, you go to the front of the tractor to keep yourself out of harm's way, you go to the front of the tractor and you hit the red emergency line. So when you get to the front and you hit the red emergency line, you're gonna bring pressure to this valve. You're gonna open this valve and you're gonna hear a honking sound. Once you deliver the icing fluid to the back of the trailer, you'll hear it. It's that quick. How safe and simple is that? All that stuff you did in the back of the trailer, all that goes away. Now there's a pressure relief valve underneath here that will either blow off or you pull it off in order to get the cap off because you know when a cap's under pressure you can't take it off unless you take the pressure off. So there's a pressure relief valve there to administer more de-icing fluid. Now the brake releaser is a device, it's a temporary device just to administer de-icing fluid to the back of the trailer. When you're done with this, do not drive with the brake releaser attached to it. It's not designed for that. You take the red emergency line off, you take the brake releaser off, you reattach the emergency line, and you take your brake releaser and you put it in your side box or wherever you feel it's safe. Now what I like to do is I like to keep my brake releaser 
next to my fire extinguisher because it's as equally important as a fire extinguisher because one day it may save my life or somebody else's life on the road. Thanks for letting me introduce to you the brake releaser. Have a great day.